Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. When I first started this channel, I had no audio equipment, poor screen capturing capabilities, and would live stream instead of pre-record. My initial videos were related to pre-market prep work, and not only has the quality of my content improved since then, but I've changed my process as I've grown as a trader. It feels time for me to do an updated video on how I currently pre-market prep and build a trade plan for the day. I do my best to post all the data points on Twitter, so be sure to follow me there if, if you want to get insights into the S&P 500 will move. With the right tools, you can actually replicate this process for any asset that you plan to trade for the day. Before we get started, I'll leave several discount codes for trading services I use in the description, including Tradeedix, Fallland, and Elite Trader Fund. Lastly, if you enjoy this content, don't forget to like and subscribe to help me grow this channel. It really does help the channel grow and it means a lot. So with all that being said, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is how I do my breakdown. So I actually uh, do this for SPX and SPY because I primarily trade ES and NQ. And the data that I look at gives uh, great insight into how those two tickers will move. As I already stated, though, you can really do this for any asset that you plan to trade. So first, I always start with looking at the Volan data to get an idea of where Vanna and Gamma will be. And I look at stuff like this. So I'll pull up SPX Vanna and I'll look at the repellents and the magnets uh, that are notable. And then I also do the same for gamma to look at where we'll likely see resistance, where we'll uh, where we we will see volatility added if we break, and the where we can find that at is if you go to Volland and you go to the institutional Greek exposure, and you pull up SPX buy or any of the 200 tickers that are listed here. It's the top 200 assets that have the most options volume that are listed here. Uh, you can pull that up now it's worth noting that the data for this updates around 7 a.m every morning so you want to make sure you look at it from that perspective so where spy or spx was when this data was updated and so then you can go here and you can look at vanna and then you can look at gamma now i'm not going to go through how to necessarily interpret this data because i've done several other videos on that be sure to check those out especially vanna because whatever asset you're trading uh, i've learned now that I have accurate depictions of Vanna, and that's why I use Volan because it has the most accurate depiction of Vanna that I've ever seen. That alone is worth every penny. But uh, it, now that I have an accurate picture of Vanna, it's actually sort of blown my mind how, how much of a driver it is of the market. It's probably the number one key driver outside of macroeconomic events where we get big numbers on inflation and, and interest rate raises and things like that. And again, that applies to any ticker. So if you like trading Apple or you like trading other assets, uh, it's important to, to, to look at the Vanna profile to see where repellents will be and where magnets will be. So that's step one and I record that information. So step two is then I want to do the same for SPY because it's tightly correlated with SPX. So again, all that's really doing is going here, pulling up the Vanna profile, going to where the current asset is trading around and looking for magnets and repellents. So you can see what that looks like here and here. And then also I add in a bit of data from Tradeedix because Tradeedix uh, is, is great for, even though they don't have the same level as a, a dealer positioning data that Volan has in terms of its accuracy, uh, what, he, what Tradeedix is really, really great at is dealer as a data driven insights and so we want to use the platform for what it's best at use each platform for what it's best at so what i do is i go to the options dashboard you can type in whatever you plan to trade in this case i have up spy i'm going to scroll down and on the dealer dashboard and i've done a video on this as well so i'm just going to breeze through it but i set the outlook anywhere for three to five days depending on what day of the week it is and and what upcoming events there are which i'll get into exact in a second i look at deltas primarily and get an idea of how it will move what the probabilities are for that movement and that also helps this usually falls in line with what we are looking at in violin for uh, gamma and vanna you can also up here adjust the different uh, um, secondary greeks the idea is you want to get the best correlation possible which usually does end up just happening from looking at the raw deltas here but again check out my other video if you want more details on that so once i outline that stuff and get an idea for the price distribution and volatility for the day the next thing i do 
is look at the dark pool data. So I want to look for things like signature prints, which I've done a video on. Those will typically be the, the biggest magnets and the big, biggest support and resistance. Dark flow, so the amount of volume that we're getting from dark pools will also give correlations on how price will move. I've done videos on that as well. We can see the largest dark pool regions, which are typically just standard support and resistance, as well as other depictions of that and overall sentiment based on the block trades that hit the uh, options flow, the live options flow. So there's a lot of data here. And it's amazing because these dark pools are usually right in line with, with the Vanna data. And you can get these from Trade Edicts under the dark pool section. You can see here today we had a ton of signature prints. I just covered this recently in a different video. And we can see that uh, th these end up being a magnet, by the way, that was in line with a Vanna magnet. Uh, we have uh, dark flow data, the dark pool correlations, everything that I just showed in those screenshots is shown here. And again, I have done several videos on how to use and interpret this data uh, to get the best assumptions. So combining dark pools and dealer positioning data is incredibly potent. I highly recommend you do it for any asset that you plan to trade before you take a trade on it. Then I like to get an overall outlook of uh, market net flow. Uh, market wide as well as market decks to see how deltas are structured market wide. So what we were looking at on the dealer positioning dashboard was deltas for that particular asset, which was SPY. But it's nice to get an idea of market net flow and, and how, how flow is being structured and how deltas are being structured across the entire market. And I like doing this historically. So I'll set this to the five day view. And we can see what's very interesting here is that we actually had a flip. So it's been sort of neck and neck. And then right before the CPI uh, data print move, we had calls go above puts, which was a big indication that we would get a bullish move going into uh, the open of CPI. And then of course we ended up filling this fair value gap, which I actually was able to predict using everything that I'm showing you here. I was able to predict this rejection up at 410 all the way down to 400 uh, actually 399 call that on twitter uh you can go check it out for yourself and i i did a video about that as well the market deck structure so as of today it is in the red which isn't surprising given the sell-off we had but uh at the end of day prior to cpi it was actually green which was another indication that deltas market wide were bullish for the cpi print so if you did decide to play that, which I wouldn't recommend actually doing, but let's say you did decide, there was a lot of data indicating that it would be a bullish move if you were just following the data. Then I also like looking at the flow map and seeing uh, where put positions and call positions are structured for expirations, as well as the overall timeline. And then lastly, for major OPEX events, dealer, dealer market diary comes into play, which I've done two videos on. I cannot wait for... Uh, by at this point in time it will have already happened but we can get a we're looking for a big buy up on december 16th so in the last hour of the day when these deltas roll off and so after combining that data i always look at market news i like using market watch you can look at whatever you want to see the big events that are coming up because those will be significant drivers uh, and will usually cause a big pre-market move and then after that, I'll combine that data and make my assessment. So anyway, I hope that gives you some insight on what you can do yourself using Voland and Tradedix to get incredible accuracy on how moves will happen for the upcoming day. If you run these in the morning, uh, it, you'll be able to formulate a trade plan and act on that. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And I appreciate you watching.